Hello Internet! It's me, Junior, from the channel Junior's Varieties Channel. Uh, welcome! Today I'm making a tutorial that many people asked me to do. That it's uh, how to create fireworks shows on FW Sim. Uh, just a reminder, I'm Brazilian, <laughs> that's why my accent is a little bit weird, but I hope you can understand what I want to, to pass to you. So here we are. A lot of people, mainly my subscribers, uh, asked me how I put fireworks on the London Eye or Cinderella's Castle or whatever other 3D model on FWC. I want to do this tutorial in two parts. The first part I want to teach you how to create effects on the fireworks editor menu. Uh, and in the second part, I would like to teach you how to create the show, how to put positions, and uh, how I do my shows. And by positions, I don't mean Ariana Grande songs, okay? <laughs> uh, well, I hope it helps you, I hope it makes you create better fireworks shows. And that's it, let's start. Uh, first of all, for you to access fireworks editor, you need to come here on tools fireworks editor or simply ctrl e here fwsim is going to ask you what do you want to build peony peony is a fireworks with only stars a burst in the sky with no tails a palm which is a peony with tails a mine which is um you can kind of say like a ground shell but it's like a lot of comets in the ground i use the them very much on my London recreations. We have a shell of shells which is a moat explosion uh, shell on the sky as you can see here in the picture. A Roman candle that is a fountain but without tails. A waterfall shell which is, as, which is a slow peony uh, sorry that's my cat in the background uh, which is a, a peony that bursts with very low intensity uh, and he and this this firework comes almost to the ground depending on the height that it that it explodes. Uh, we have a salute shell, which is only a burst, a loud noise explosion. A fountain, which is the same thing as the Roman candle but with tails. A sun is a firework that rotates in the ground. The comet is <laughs> just like the name says; it's a comet. It's a only star with that you can add tails or not we have the bengal flames that we mainly at FWC we use to do lights and cake which is uh, a detonator he explodes a lot of fireworks at the same time if you want uh, so let's start with the peony here we have the menu shell here on the right so for example uh, you have various size, size of firework uh, 75, 100, 125 and goes to 600 this uh, is how big the firework is and how high he explodes for example 60, uh, 75 is the lower one he explodes here and he's very small but you can make him a big shell you see it's a lot bigger and way more intense okay you can hit custom here here you can just like the name say uh, choose the launch velocity uh, the bigger the the velocity uh, or higher it will explode see and here you can select uh, manually the, the diameter of the firework you want in the explosion area you can choose how many in how many seconds the fireworks is going to explode I usually put four seconds because it's not very high and it's not very low so for London shows Disney shows I think it, it's a good time for it to explode here you have explosion energy you can make a very weak explosion or a very strong explosion I usually use uh, two 
120 to create explosions. See? Here you can change the color. Notice something. With all the stars, there is a little flash before the stars turn into a sphere. Look at him. You can choose the color of this explosion. Orange is a very is very nice to use. See? And, and here you can choose if you're going to use sound or not. I usually use sound because it's more realistic, right? So here we're gonna come to the stars. Yeah. Stars are the little dots that compounds the fireworks. On this menu you can choose how many stars you want in your peony. You can have only one. Or 9000 stars. Look at that. Almost 10,000. But this doesn't look realistic. I usually use um, uh, 200 to... And the biggest shells I usually use uh, 350. You can change the color here. Use custom custom colors too that you can make here on this menu, just like paint, you know. Um, here you can choose their distribution. Atomic pattern. It is going to have an atomic form. Look. Yeah, very cool. Here in custom shape you can do whatever col uh, whatever shape you want to and it's going to open this uh, paint area and you can use the pencil for example and draw uh, a triangle for example remember you have to use the pencil <laughs> this looks very stupid but it's just to demonstrate what you can do with this tool see whatever you uh, the how many stars you're gonna put here is gonna be the same quantity as the stars in FWC. You can choose their speed and how how much you uh, the stars can vary their their speed. You can rotate it. For example, if you put 180 degrees, it's gonna explode. Uh, in another position you see here you can see the lifetime how much it's gonna do rate on the, the sky it stays a long time on the sky after the explosion here you can use change brightness over time you can make it only appear uh, after 50% of the explosion. Look. A lot of effects made in, in Disney use this, this tool, change brightness over time. Here you can add strobe. Here. It's really pretty. I really like strobe. Color can be changed in the show editor. Here you're gonna choose if you want to ch these stars to change in the editor. This is very nice if you want to do multi-break shells. For example, if if you disable this option, it will always explode orange in the timeline. If this is enabled, you can change the orange to green, for example, but not in custom shape. That's an exception. When you draw your fireworks in the custom shape menu, you can't change their color in the show editor menu. I'm gonna explain this to you on the next part, okay? Um, color changing. After the explosion, the color can change. On this case, I don't believe it. Oh, it works. I didn't know that. I'm learning with myself. <laughs> but here, for example, I drew an orange triangle. I'm gonna turn it to red right after the explosion. Look. Very nice. So next what you need to know about the 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 stars main. Oh, one more thing. There is here a heart shape, for example. With the star placement for vary and see where you can change if the fireworks are going to explain uh, explode perfectly or if the stars can be a little bit messy. 
we have the Hemsfer firework, which is a half half firework. You can combine two of these to create a a two color peony. It is a very nice tool. We have mine that explodes just like the mine in the ground. It's very cool. We have a ring, which is very much used, and we have the typical fur. I like to use zero in the star place placement variants because it looks like a perfect sphere. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, but the speed is on six point eight. Let me change it to zero two. Ah, uh, way better, way better. Uh, now I'm gonna explain to you uh, the tails are gonna I'm gonna let to the palm part. Uh, we have crackling. Crackling is what we call popping flowers. That is those little effects right after the explosion that makes a a shh noise. <laughs> You can change this color if you want to. I like to use only white and orange because it's the the more realistic ones. But to people that want to create their own fireworks that are not realistic, you can use this tool here. You can choose their speed. This is very cool to do bigger popping flowers, right? So that's it. That's a very simple tool. We have the crusade too. Then what is that? The stars break into four other stars. You can change their colors, of course. Then this is gonna work just like the stars menu. Uh, for example, I made a blue peony. I can make it head have red crusade, for example. Look. That this is very nice. I use this a lot on my shows. Uh, let's see. We have nothing left here.